Hi everyone, this is Julie from Gleeful Things. In this video, I'm going to show you how to single crochet in rounds and how to use stitch markers. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using Premier Eversoft, which is one of my favorite acrylic worsted weight yarns because it's really soft and shiny and it comes in a lot of pretty colors. This one's called Clover. I'm also using my Clover soft touch hook in a size H. To tie a slip knot, first find the end of your yarn, and then several inches from the end, twist the yarn around two fingers. Then pull a piece of yarn through to create a loop. Pull up on the loop to tighten it. Then if you need to make it smaller, you can pull down on the tail to adjust the size. Now you can slip your hook into the loop and we're ready to start chaining. To make a chain, wrap your yarn over the hook and pull it through the loop that was already on your hook. Do this one more time so you have two chains. Then insert your hook into the first chain you made. Wrap your yarn over the hook and pull it through the chain. You'll have two loops on your hook now. Then wrap your yarn over the hook once more and pull it through both loops. This is one single crochet. And now we're going to do five more single crochets in that same chain. And now we're ready to start using a stitch marker to mark the beginning of the next round. Put your marker around the loop that's on your hook and then when you make your first single crochet it'll stay in the stitch. We're going to make two single crochets in each stitch for this round so the circle keeps increasing in size. So you'll have a total of 12 single crochets. You'll know you've reached the end of the round when you get back to your stitch marker. Now you can take the stitch marker out and put it on the loop that's on your hook to mark the beginning of the next round. For this round, we're gonna do one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets in the next stitch and then repeat this pattern all the way around. When you get back to your stitch marker, you'll have a total of 18 stitches.
Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.